ZT is back into the Indian market with this Blade A2 Plus. So Blade A2 Plus is a heavy battery smartphone with a 5000 mAh battery under its hood. So let's check out this phone and take a first look at this device. So the box says it has a Volti support so you can accommodate this Geo SIM in India. And it has a 5000 mAh battery, it comes with a OTG reverse charge, meaning that you can use this phone as a power bank to charge the other phones. Now let's see what comes inside the box. So this is the ZTE Blade A2 Plus, it's a very generic design. You get a pin to eject the SIM tray and some set of documents including warranty card. There are two boxes inside, micro USB cable. The second box comes with a power adapter. So ZT says that it comes with the ultra fast charging. So it should be able to charge the 5000 mAh battery faster. How fast? Let's find out in the upcoming videos. So now let's take a look at the design and a first look at this device. So this is the ZT Blade A2 Plus. It's a very generic design and uh, nothing uh, unusually special about it. It's an all metal affair and it has a antenna caps which are made in plastic of course and it has a pattern design to it. Top you have the squarish camera and a square shaped fingerprint sensor with a double dual LED flash in between them and a microphone. ZTE branding and on the right side we have here the power button as well as the volume rocker. The left side has the SIM tray. Let me open the SIM tray. So this is a hybrid dual SIM and so you can accommodate two SIMs or one SIM and a micro SD uh, card. So at the front we have here the home button flanked by the recent app, recent menu as well as the back menu. The top we have here the 5, 8 megapixel selfie camera, earpiece grill and the sensors. So uh, when you see at the back uh, the sides are slightly curved so to give a ergonomic feel to the phone. The phone is neither light nor Thin. It measures around it measures around 9.8 mm in thickness and weighs around 189 grams. So ZTE Blade A2 Plus runs on MediaTek chipset which is a MT6750 1.51 GHz octa-core processor which comes with a Cortex A53. It has a 4 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage which can be of course expanded. Uh, the display is 5.5 inch display with a full HD resolution. Talking about the sensors, it comes with the accelerometer, light sensor, orientation sensor, proximity sensor, sound and magnetic sensor but no gyroscope. So in case you want to play Pokemon or you want to use this for a greater VR experience, sorry, there is no gyroscope so you can't have a good VR handset experience. Now the UI part. The phone runs on Android Marshmallow with their own custom UI layered on top of it. When you swipe up, you get uh, these things like me color, wallpaper, icon and effect. So these are the transition effects and it looks too outdated. And then there is a me color where you have the option for solid wallpapers and a pick color which can choose any color that you point on the camera and it takes it as the wallpaper. It has a lot of uh, gesture options. So we can have a lock screen gestures so we can draw O to launch the browser and there are a lot many gesture options which comes as part of this UI. You can choose various gestures for certain action tasks, double tap to wake and there are also a lot of motion features. Then there is also something called custom button key. So either you can have the back button on the right or the left and you can toggle the position between the back menu and the reason menu. So with the fingerprint sensor you can lock the phone unlock the phone you can app lock there is something called private space which we'll talk about that in the later you can also launch an app with a fingerprint sensor and there are also a lot of uh, options enabled like you can use the fingerprint to take a photo answer the incoming call by touching the fingerprint sensor and you can also view the notification drawer by swiping down and you can also look at the reason menu by swiping up the fingerprint sensor and also in the gallery you can scroll the image by moving the fingerprint sensor area left and right. So this reminds me of the fingerprint sensor feature that came on the Honor devices. So it's very similar to those. And then there is also something called super key. So this is a mechanical key for the fingerprint sensor. So when you click it, you get when you press it, you get a click sound. And with this key, you can single click can take a screenshot. So just a single click will take a screenshot, double click 
we we'll launch the camera and long pressing this will launch the flashlight so that's a feature of the super key now let's go to the camera app so in the camera app there are a lot of filters and other settings here so the app looks very uh, outdated again it needs a fine tuning in terms of the ui and we'll talk about the camera review later part of the upcoming videos this is just the first impression of the zte blade a2 plus what do you think about this device i feel that the ui needs a lot of overhaul and in terms of the finish and the refinement but uh, the highlight of the phone of course is the 5000 mah battery so i will do a, i'll put this device into a battery test and see how good it is and how for how long it can hold on a heavy usage so this is the first impression of the zte blade a2 plus this is lash brother signing off for techraman and in case you like the video give us a like don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is lash brother signing off for techraman have a great day cheers